Dark Spectre Design Works. We make it. Howdy, folks. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at NECA's Ultimate Goliath figure from Gargoyles. Uh, super excited for this. Uh, I almost shit when they announced it. I never thought we'd get like a modern six inch, well, you know, like a seven inch scale uh, Gargoyles figure. Um, one of my favorite shows as a kid, and I actually rewatched it a few years ago, maybe four or five years ago actually, and it's still really good and holds up really well. I uh, love the animation, love the concept, voice acting's great, etc., etc. So, let's take a look at his packaging. This is a bigger box than the normal Ultimates. Kind of hard to get in a frame here, but... Pretty... Pretty schnazzy artwork. Top. Sides. In the back. A little bio if you want to read it. If I could do a Keith David impersonation, I would read it to you, but I cannot, so. Alrighty, let's uh let's crack this big beastly boy open. So for October, I'm trying to do mostly horror, Halloween-y, spooky-related stuff, so this kind of is going to deter from that a bit, but I don't know, gargoyles are kind of creepy, scary, mysterious and kooky. They're all, they're all together kooky? Uh, I don't remember the lyrics, sorry. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky, they're all together ooky. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh. Wow, those wings are fucking huge. <laughs> Ooh, whoopsie doodles. Two parts. Uh, and did I forget? I did forget to open this up. There it is. That's the... Sorry. That's the image in the inside, and it's like a animated city scene there. Kind of cool. Alrighty, now let's uh, let's see what we got here. It's tied in well. Nope. I really hope NECA doesn't uh, disappoint me here and have this thing be shitty. I mean, it looks fantastic so far, but NECA stuff always does, and then fucking something breaks. My buddy uh, Tenome just got uh, the loot crate in, the Turtles one, and his uh, Danny's. And uh comes with uh, Danny from the first movie. First live action movie from 1990, and his arm's broken. So, 
Yeah, these are giving me some trouble here. Let's see if I can just brute force it out. Jesus. Oh. Okay. Aha. Alrighty. Let's start off with his accessories. So he comes with a little pepper. This rings a bell, but I can't place exactly where it's from. I'll see if I could find a reference image or something. You know, these are great. You should try one, Goliath. Yeah, for some reason that makes sense to me, but I can't quite place it. Um, he's got a little book. Just scribbles in there. Nice detailing, though. Nice weathering. He's got... Two fists. Nice sculpt, nice paint. He's got a tail. Whoopsies. The holes indicate uh, that's bendy. We'll see in uh, articulation. Yeah, an angry, eyes whited out portrait. Teeth are painted nice. I uh, know this did end up sh uh, hitting my pile of loot from Big Bad Toy Store, um, but I really didn't have anything else to ship, so I was just kind of leaving it there. And then I found it at Target, so. Um, keep your eyes peeled. There was about eight of them there, and two of them had... Uh, defects on the nose, so it was like missing. It was like scrubbed off. Paint was rubbed off, so it looks like there's some uh, blue dry brushing in there, which is nice. Did he come with a? Let's see. I got a little uh, gripper hand. And did one? Uh... I don't see a pair here. Did one pop out? Let's see. No, looks like he's just got the two fists and the one gripper. So, and then his wings, freaking gigantic. Um, looks pretty damn nice. I mean, there's some nice vein work in there. Some real subtle, like bluish dry brushing in there. You kind of see it there. Yeah, you can see it more in the back. It's almost like a metallic blue. Looks really nice. And the other one. Okay. Let's take a look at the main man himself. Neutral head sculpt, which I think I prefer. Eyes are nice and clean. Paint's nice and clean. Body looks great. Nice muscle detail. Some nice dry brushing. Hands are really cool. Goliath crotch. Nice leathery detail and paint on there. He's definitely not missing leg day. <laughs> so 
go on your footsies. Back of the feet. Nice dry brushing on the hair. Yeah, he looks fucking great. Those uh, elbow joints are pretty ugly, but uh, hopefully they move well. Let's take a look at the articulation. Here. Okay. You look down. That much. Can't really look up because of his hair. Do we have tilt? Oh, yes, we do. Fantastic. Actually, let's take a look at what's in there. Ball joint, dumbbell joint, I guess that would be called. Okay. So, shoulders can go out that far. Kind of strange here, let's see. His pecs kind of stick out a little bit, but can do a 360. Pretty tight, bicep swivel, kind of loose. <laughs> um, this way, double jointed elbows, wow. Nice range. Ugly, but nice. Wrists up and down. Let's get a better angle on that. Okay. There, there. Rotate around. Got an ab crunch. Not too far forward. Way back. Um, I don't know, is there a waist joint in there? Oh, yep. You know, 360? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, shit. You know what? I'll have to look at the footage again, but... Getting paint rub from his loincloth on his legs. Well, watch out for that. Hopefully it's not too terrible, but pretty much do the splits. Backwards, that far. And forwards, like that. Probably go a little farther if it wasn't for the loincloth, but man, yeah. Might hit that with a little bit of alcohol, see if I get that off, but um... Single jointed knees, but man, they move in pretty far. Well, about 90. And then he's got his... Digitigrade. Ankles go back like that. Go far, forward. That far. Is there like a rocker? Okay, there is a rocker in there. A second. Okay, let me see here. Let's see. So, trying to figure out if there's a rocker in there. I mean, I don't really see how there could be. I guess if you angle it a certain way, it could kind of rock. If you, yeah, you'd have to play with it though. Oh, and the hips do spin a little bit on there on that joint. Not a cut, but. And then his toes, which is what he's going to be standing up on. Let's see. And they're detented. They go down that far. But that's about as far up as they go. So there's detents in his digitigrade ankles here. They're not very strong, though. And then his toes also are as well. So hopefully that will allow some nice posing options. All right, let's uh, get his tail on. Let's see. I 
assume this is going to be a challenge. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So that's got an up and down hinge. <laughs> that looks so goofy. And down. And then, let's see how the bendy aspect is. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, okay. Now I always worry about this stuff cracking breaking over time, but I'd rather just kind of have like maybe two tails, one that's more straight and one that's more articulated and ah, that's pretty cool. I actually like that and it can move around 360. So that should allow you some nice posing options Oopsies. and uh, let's get his wings in. Now the only, my only real complaint here is that I wish he had wings that were folded like almost like they used to fold up like capes oh man those are jeez wow let me take a closer look at this oh you hear that oh man extremely heavy detents on that be careful because I foresee that breaking very easily it's a very rigid plastic. Okay. Oh, man. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, there's some more paint rub. Watch out. <laughs> Okay, so this one's not as bad. I do not like that at all. <laughs> Be careful. So, you could probably do a 360. I'm not going to push it. But, I can tell you right now, with his wings like this, he ain't going to be able to stand. <laughs> Get him all the way back there. So, very impressive wingspan here. But, uh, use of a stand, I really can't see him being able to stand. Um, so, yeah. Uh, give me one sec. When they come alive, evil can't survive. Gargoyles! Disguised as a gargoyle, the evil Xanato swoops into attack. Mighty Goliath breaks free. Lexington fires, and heroic Brooklyn charges into battle on the Ripping Rider cycle. Get him! Xanatos is stunned, and Goliath flies in to unmask him. And you, Xanatos! When gargoyles come alive, evil can't survive. Gargoyles eat so separately. Okay. So. Here is Earthrise, Shattered Glass, Ratchet, who's a Deluxe Class Transformer. So. Kind of dwarfed. And here is Marvel Legends, uh, custom I'm toying around with. I don't think I'm going to use that head, but that's the old uh, jacketed Cyclops body, so. So yeah, he's just massive. His legs are pretty spread out. He's leaning right now. But yeah, he is. Where is my tape measure? There it is. He is. Let's see. 
right about yeah right it with his legs pretty stretched out he's right about eight inches tall and with his wings at pretty much the widest possible he is wow 22 inches <laughs> so that's pretty impressive wingspan there old Goliath so yeah um let me uh, mess around with him and see what kind of poses I can get him into. And I will uh, get some glamour shots taken here. Oh man, here. Look at all that paint flaking off. Which isn't really that abnormal, but kind of sucks. But yeah, let's, uh, let's mess around with him and get some good, nice pictures. And I'll give you my final thoughts. It took me, I don't know, probably 45 minutes of messing around with him just to get him in the few poses that you're going to see here. Um, he basically cannot stand. Um, and I even tried taking his wings off, and he can stand a little better without them, but not great. Uh, the joints are just too weak. Um, they're strong on their own when you're messing with them, but they do not support his weight, let alone the weight of these incredibly heavy wings. So yeah, this is very disappointing. Um, I, I really had it with NECA. I don't know how much longer I'm going to continue to spend money on their products when their products are fucking useless. Um, he looks fantastic. He poses well, but it's just, it's just bad. I mean, he basically has to have a stand. And I don't know of any stands that are commercially available that are really big enough to support him. I know NECA makes their own dynamic stand or whatever the hell it's called, but it's incredibly ugly and thick and, blo and blocky. I don't like it. Um, and the uh, normal clear foot peg stands are not going to help at all. Maybe a little bit, but they are not going to help really because his, just, his joints are just too weak. And I don't know if it's an issue with the uh, digi-degrade design in combination with the heavy wings, but they could have they, they should have just made his legs solid, if that's an, if that's the issue, which would suck. I love articulation, but I'd rather have the damn figure stand, and at this point he can't. At least not easily, and not well, and not in any very interesting poses. So yeah, I don't know, this is kind of disheartening for me at least, because I was really excited for this, and for it to be this disappointing is unfortunate. But, you know, NECA continues to do this, and we continue to support them, so I don't think anything's ever going to change. So, until people stop buying their products, they're going to continue to put out crap. Some people love them, a lot of people seem to love them, but in my personal experience, virtually every figure I've gotten from them in the last year has been faulty at best. Broken, and just, it's, they've been like that since the start, you know. Maybe not even really since the start, my ancient uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Freddies are fine. But guess what? They have unarticulated legs, so... Their newer Ultimate Freddies are incredibly weak and fall over all the time. So, I don't know. I don't know what my future holds with this company anymore. They have a, a lot of great, my favorite licenses between Horror, Alien Predator, Turtles, now Gargoyles. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, thank you very much for watching. We've got a Patreon. I feel like throwing a couple bucks a month away. Much appreciated. No pressure. Do the YouTube thing, please, if you don't mind. Comment, subscribe, share. Cut off your ear and send it to me. That'd be cute. Alright. Thanks. Bye.